Welcome to the Vermont Concerned Citizen channel. We are a patriotic American community, and please consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you. Come down with your breeches of deer skin and jackets of brown. With your red woolen caps and your moccasins come to the gathering summons of trumpet and drum. Come down with your rifle. Let Toysis Zagana PX9 by SDS Imports. They give you this hard little plastic case. Kind of cool. We'll look at some of the things in here. I already had this open before, as you can tell. So what did I get in the case? I got two Magar P226 mags. I got the extra back straps in the little punch tool. I got a flag tool that came in it when it was uh, brand new before I tore the tag off of it. Underneath the uh, paddle holster, if you pull up the foam insert, there's a manual, I already looked at that. That bolts onto there, the screws are already on the holster part. Get a little <laughs> nylon bristle cleaning brush. Sorry for that, and then you get a little nylon uh, rag tool and uh, a holster looks just like a uh, Springfield XD the XD holster that I had I was using on the Taurus G2 C um, actually had a Pikini rail down here this does not this one has the mechanism if you can see in there locks onto the Pikini rail and then as you're drawing the holster you just hit that with your finger up Grip the gun, and the gun comes out, and when that's not in there, holds it safe and secure. Let me show you. Okay, so we got the pistol back in the nylon, plastic, whatever you want to call it, holster. It's clear cut for the sights. So the Springfield XD holsters, they don't have all this mag release catch thing. Just a friction draw on a screw. This has that lever. Squeeze the lever. Gun comes in and out. Can't get it to come out. Can't see down in there that way. Can't really see it in that way. Lever thing functions. It says Tysis. Zagana PX9. You know, for what you get, time of this video, it was a uh, 329 plus tax, brought it to like 350. I don't think it's a really bad pistol. What's also cool about the paddle holster that they give you, besides quick release, is that this actually has slots for a belt. So when you run the belt through there. actually holds in place. Not like those are going to work with the belt. I don't think that thing pulls out through. It might, but anyways. Belt slots and the paddles. I'm not sure if all paddle holsters are like that or not. They were just uh, independent to this. And I'm not sure if that's two inches or two and a quarter, but uh, anyways, it's wide enough for what looks like a one and three quarter inch belt. And these are metal sights. They are, some claim, M&P 2.0 sights. Mine did not come with a tritium insert. You can see that, there's just a bunch of hashed lines on there. And when pointing into the shadows in a dark room, I found it was kind of hard to see, so I took a little yellow paint marker and I lightened up that tip. Left the back black. 
so in the darkness it kind of shines out a little bit better. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Focus. Anyways, there's serrations on the back of there. Help dull the shine off of it, just like the front. This really is a nice pistol. Looks like an XD. It also looks like an H and K. It's a Turkish hybrid. This is Tysis Zagana PX9. Oh, front uh, serrations there, and the uh, Pickney rail. Manual safety. Slide catch release. Take down lever, pull that back, lock it back, rotate that dial, pull the th trigger, slide comes right off, reverse the process, put it back together. You can see the mags are made by Magar. Also, if this thing would focus, not so much shine. Also says P226-9, whatever the heck that stands for. So P226 mags would fit as well. Look at the take up on the Taurus. This is the G2C. It's very minimal. The PX9, let me pause the camera. That was it. Pull, 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 hit a wall, then snap. I want to show something. With the safeties, there's the G3. That thing takes no effort whatsoever. The PX9, <laughs> my God, man, um, you got to really jump on it to push it up to engage the safety. Take it off safety; it's just a quick step. But put on safety. It's uh, it's quite the project. Let me see if I can do it with my right hand better while the pistol's in my hand. Okay, so I can do it better with my thumb hand, the gun in my hand. But you still got to feel like you got to roll it out of your grip position. Well, maybe like that. Okay. Just got to get used to it. Clean this thing up with a bunch of CLP, so maybe with some use it'll break in. Maybe I'll just sit here for a half hour and keep doing that and uh, see if it loosens up. Let's compare to the PX9 to the G3 in size. Definitely thicker. <laughs> Oops. I scratch my guns up. It's in the mags. But the fit and finish is really comparable to the Taurus. The polymer. <laughs> no, the G3's really got some massive stipling. You wear that against your skin. You can probably see my dead skin in there, the white stuff. <laughs> it rubs you raw. This is really smooth. The lines are sufficient. I can still grip it and hold it, whatever else, but it's not as grippy as the Taurus G3. So, both are striker fired. Taurus has double restart capabilities. This does not unless you rack the slide. So, I'm gonna have to learn practice different with that. But they do hold. Uh, they both have the same Pickney rails. That one's two, this one's three, but I can only use one of my lights, and it's the uh, UTG on here, whereas this one, I can use either two of my uh, lights if you go back into video reviews and show the two different lights. So, anyways, just want to do a side by side. Okay, just disassemble the PX9. Whole lot of cosmoline grease in here. Not a lot, but a light coating. You can see it. So I got my CLP. We're gonna clean off all that cosmoline and uh, put some CLP and maybe some rim oil on top of it. Reassemble it, and then we'll go take it out and uh, put about 50 rounds downrange. I know I hate to be frugal, but God, what a price of ammo these days! I think that's all I want to expend. You are your first and last line of defense. Keep that powder dry. Be safe. Stay armed.
please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification for future videos.